according to the Labor Ministry's quarterly report, of the 34 million recovered on behalf of employees thus far, wages and severance accounted for 33.41% and 14.39% respectively, while others, inclusive of ex gratia payments and settlements, accounted for 41.39% of the total monies recovered. The report revealed that the months of March, April and June saw the most monies being recovered, as the ministry saw a considerable increase in reports during those periods. The Labour Department has already received a total of 733 complaints for the period January to August 2021, with the lion's share emanating from the security and the commerce sectors. And though only 9% of complaints came from the mining sector, the report pointed out that it still remains an area of serious concern to the Labour Department, considering how large that sector is. The report outlined too that a total of 326 breaches were reported from January to August 2021, and those included failure to keep proper wage records, improper register of holiday with pay records, and overtime records. Importantly, the report highlighted that out of the total complaints received thus far, 725 have been closed. It should be noted that 219 of those complaints were brought forward from 2020. The Labour Department said it continues to engage employers and employees to settle the issues and to avoid prosecution. To date, the department has met with approximately 737 employers with the aim of settling issues highlighted by employees. One major deterrent to the Labour Department's work, however, is the COVID-19 pandemic, which has forced it to scale back on inspection activities. But despite this, the Labour Ministry said that plans are being made to augment inspection activities in all of the regions. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.